Ethan Ollett's up into second place now. Clint Clark fires it through. In for third on the little 125. Big effort for him there. As they uh, head their way down through gum trees. As I said, a big effort for him last night, having to drive all the way back to Brisbane to get some pits for the bike. Fixed it, came back again, so uh, a massive effort there. So he just slots himself up into second place there now. Ethan Holden holds on to third now as they uh, head their way back. Down to the far section for the first time in this heat. Ten laps for them. So Dave Oliver fires off another lap as he heads his way down into turns one and two. Dicing going on for third and fourth place there now. And uh, that, of course, Ethan Holden and Lee Holmes. And Lee's once again been improving all weekend. Paul Dawson, the next one through. Taylor Ralph in there as well. Simon Dixon and Mark Lucky Gordon just in there as well as they head their way down into Gumtree's corner. Lucky has been improving throughout the weekend. Of course, uh, riding for mixed bike and car tyres and PM lubricants. PM been around for quite a few years, helped out uh, a lot of the races over the years. So they head their way back up the hill through the left-hander at seven there now. Make their way down through the far section. back around onto the front straight away once again these two out front Dave Oliver and Clint Clark split the rest of the field Lee Holmes up into uh, third place Ethan Alden fourth Paul Dawson and Taylor Ralph battling it out for fifth and sixth place there at the moment Simon Dixon in there behind them it's like Anthony Carroll and next one through Paul Dawson and Kenny Croucher having a good old time. Scott Irvine and Kieran McGowan having a battle there as well. So some uh, good dicing going on throughout. Sarah Fairbrother going through. 32-7, her best time. Another one of our female riders out there. She's been scooting around since she was in the, uh, the junior ranks. And great to see Sarah turning up each uh, race meeting. So the rest of them, there's a good bunch going through turn seven there now. Down through Cops. So Dave Oliver comes around, fires off another lap. Seven laps to go. Clint Clark in a uh, bit of a lonely old second place. Dave Oliver once again will start to uh, get some times under his belt no doubt and then uh, no doubt have a bit of a relax start to play. So Clint Clark goes through. Lee Holmes, Ethan Alden. Then uh, looks like uh, back to Paul Dawson and Taylor Ralph. Mark Lucky Gordon goes through. The rest of them charging hard out there at the moment.
Michael Roach and uh, Benjamin Stevens having a, uh, a good old uh, battle for the, uh, the minor places. So they head their way back around and uh, once again Dave Oliver goes through a 124-4-3. Pretty nice uh, bike that he's riding there, Vanderberg Aprilia. Only a, a few of them, a handful of them made. Thirty-five bike, very impressive today, Lee Holmes. As he goes through. Still that uh, fantastic battle going on. Paul Dawson, Taylor Ralph. Simon Dixon and Anthony Carroll they're having a, uh, a great little battle out there at the moment looks like Simon's just picked up on Taylor there as they uh, go down into uh, Siberia leaders down through the far section of the circuit now as uh, Dave Oliver comes onto the front straight away he has got a, uh, a massive massive gap over second place Clint Clark at the moment Clint just coming onto the front straight away now and uh, he comes through there in second place and 13 second gap already that Dave Oliver's uh, pulled on these guys Lee Holmes still in there for a uh, very comfy third Taylor has uh, got a couple of them back there. Looks like Simon may have had a moment, just dropped a couple of places there. So he's back to about. Oh, Carroll goes way, way wide there. And he drops back a spot there now. So he goes back to eighth place. Simon moves up one more. Michael Webb and Jared Purcell, 16th and 17th place, but still a great battle going on between those two riders. Next couple go through. So we're just over half race uh, distance now. Dave Oliver heads his way under the bridge there this time. Clint Clark still charging around, his best time, a 126.55 for him. As he heads his way through, still uh, Lee Holmes, a 127.95, his best time. Ethan Olden goes through, Taylor Ralph up to fifth place now. Mark a lucky Gordon up into ninth and his best time a 137.6 at the moment. Red flag is out. We've got an incident somewhere on the circuit. I'm not sure what's uh, happening here, but the red flag is out. And... Just looking around, it's got to be down in that turn 7 area down there. 